Today's pet advice segment is sponsored by University Veterinary Care Center. This morning we're talking pedicures, keeping our furry friends nails trimmed, an important but at times challenging <laughs> part of being a, a pet times, parent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Amy Guernsey is joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Uh, wild animals obviously don't get their nails trimmed. Right. So why is it important that our pets get their nails trimmed? Well, the, the things that most people, you know, think of right away are they're, they're damaging my couch or they're, they're running around on the hardwood floors and scratching up the floors. Um, I'm, I'm more concerned with the health, obviously, of, of the animal. Um, you know, they're, out, they're not out working for a living and, and grinding their nails down on their own, so they tend to overgrow, they get those sharp points. Um, but in really severe cases or in old dog situations, um, those nails can actually overgrow to the point of impacting how they walk. Um, think of if you had a really long toenail in your yeah. shoe, it would be painful. Um, so making sure that we're getting them trimmed so that they can walk normally is important. And how often do they need their nails trimmed? You know, it's really variable. Um, think of people and how often they get their hair cut or their nails trimmed. It just depends on the person, how quickly they grow. Same with the animals. The other big factor is how, how athletic or how, how often they're using those nails. So if they're out um, running all the time and going for walks all the time and grinding them down, um, those dogs don't really need trims hardly ever, but if they're more of a couch potato like my 16-year-old dog, <laughs> um, they need them a little bit more regularly. Well, for people who trim their own pet's nails, mm -hmm. do you have any tips on technique or strategy, the best way to do it? Sure. Um, obviously, you want a calm pet to start <laughs> with, um, so if you have one that's not cooperative, please don't attempt it, but uh, you know, they, they've got this taper to the nail, and when it comes to a very sharp point, that's what you're trying to take off. Now, they do have a blood supply in there. If you go too high up on the nail, you can quick them, and that can be painful and stressful for everybody, so try to avoid that. Um, but it can be done at home. Not with my dog. <laughs> I've told you before, she's, she's a bit of a challenge. She doesn't like to have her nails messed with. Yeah. Um, so, you know, in a case like that, what do you do if you can't do it at home? Groomers are angels, um, yes. so if you can get into a groomer, that's fantastic. Um, a lot of veterinarian offices will do them as well. Um, we certainly see more of the dogs that, um, and cats for that matter, that the groomers just can't handle because of their anxiety. Um, so talk with your vet about that. There can be low stress handling techniques that are really um, effective. There can also be anxiolytic drugs that can just be used kind of in the moment to make it a not so stressful situation. Um, and then training goes a really long way. You know. Um, massaging your animal's feet, getting them used to handling their toes and, and feet and letting them know it's not the end of the world, um, that can be really helpful too. All right. Helpful advice for all of us. Dr. Guernsey, thank you so much for stopping Thanks. by today. And if you'd like more information about University Veterinary Care Center, just head over to universityvetcare.com.